And after our comprehensive report last night on school resource officers, a viewer in Fredonia contacted us to express some frustration that the Fredonia Central School District did not have one. When we sent Channel 2's Dave McKinley to look into it, he found out the school administration doesn't want one because they think that they've come up with a better idea for their district. Some in Fredonia say they're not asking for anything new, rather the return of something they once had. For several years, Fredonia had a school resource officer who was a village policeman. But in 2015, amid a budget crisis, the village cut funding for it. In 2016, the village and school district discussed restoring the position, but the sides couldn't agree on how much the district should pay. The village wanted $40,000, the district offered 30. I 100% support a school resource officer, and it should be from the village police, office, police department. Not long after taking office, Fredonia's current mayor proposed the village provide the SRO at the same price the district had proposed. We sent the proposal. It was rejected. So are you telling me today that they could have had one for the 30 grand? Yes. A absolutely. real cop? A real cop, yes. But the district is going in a different direction where we hire an officer directly and they're an employee of the district. Fredonia School Board recently approved the creation of a new civil service job of school safety advisor. Why not get a cop? Well, the, the thought is we're probably going to get a retired cop. Ideally, someone with five years of law enforcement experience. They'd have no powers of arrest, but they would have to be trained in firearms. Would they carry a firearm? I anticipate they would, yes. Some around here whisper the school board didn't want a sworn police officer because they can't control them. It's not about control. It's about controlling a program. Have full say in who we hire, have full say in what their schedule is and what they do. They'd never be called off to other duties and would be here whenever they're needed. And for prom, for homecoming, for, the, for those big events where it's a large congregation of people. And though he says it's not about the money, it's also true that they could get a retired cop for a reasonable price. There are some limitations on how much those folks can earn oh, without right. impacting their, their state pension. We should also note that if Fredonia doesn't have a school resource officer, it certainly wouldn't be alone. According to the National Association of School Resource Officers, more than two-thirds of the schools in the country currently don't have them. In Fredonia, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.